Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode number seven of the Babble Box podcast. My name is Evan Haggard, my co- and I am co-host to the lovely gentleman you see here in front of you, Mr. William Landis, who finally fixed his effing mic so it doesn't look like he lives in the Dark Ages. Yep, not mic, it's all good uh, now. Not mic, uh, camera. I botched the joke, whatever. Eh, one and the same. <laughs> That's fine. It's all good. So yep. episode seven, we're still going strong. Yeah. So haven't been haven't been, haven't been canceled yet by the network. Our, our ratings are uh, <laughs> well, largely kind of, non-existent, which is a good thing, I suppose. It's kind of hard to get canceled by the network when you're in my network, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But so so on, t- on today's episode of Struggle Meals with Evan Haggard, I was fiddling around tra- trying to figure out how to make a kind of chicken Alfredo using. Primarily chicken thighs, ramen noodles, spices, and like that garbage um, uh, Parmesan cheese that's in the cylinder. Right, turned out really good. This like I'm 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 paying for it right now, but it's it, it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> All right, but um, how about you? How's life going on your end? Good. Things are good. First day of uh, school today, second semester of fully digital. Hey. Uh, I'm just a robot at this point. Computers and, and compute, I suppose. But as a composer, I, I got to get better, better get used to that a little bit. Well, working on a but computer. yeah, uh, yeah, just sit in front of a computer all day, which which I'm not opposed to. You know, I just you, I just miss singing it, in choir, man. Done it for work. Yeah, and, and plus I just I plus I miss singing in choir. You know, I, I yeah. you know, didn't have much I needed it till till it's gone, but that's life. You can't always get what you want. I that is actually like the intro to that song mm-hmm. by the Rolling Stones is my favorite intro really to any song ever, and I get. I, it puts the problem is it puts me in a type of mood for a certain type of music, and then Mc, and then like, Jagger Mick Jagger starts singing, and I'm like, I don't want to listen anymore. This sucks. I oh, don't like the combination like that. You don't, right. you don't like, like cross just, cross pollination. The chain, like if there was a, a fade into it, maybe it's just the the, the 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 contrast between the two styles is just so damn jarring. Okay, okay, it's, it's the the transition that kind of, that puts you off a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's like, understandable. Yeah, it's like it, that puts me in a mood if you would, if it had if it was still that, but then it was more of like a rock ballad kind of thing, like rock mm-hmm. opera kind of thing, and then it kind of moves more into like the old school rock and roll. Then yeah, I'd be more okay with it. But as as it stands, nah. To to each his own. Fair enough. Uh, before we started this stream, uh started started do a transition like the one you're just talking about that you didn't like too much but i'm very excited to talk about uh you know uh y- your and my first like internet capable devices that we ever had be them like <laughs> phones or ipods and the and the lengths the, at which bro, we went bro, to uh <laughs> to i had watch things a on them garbage supposed to be in bed. ipod a shitty little ipod that was mm-hmm. that it, on the top floor of my of my family's home with no, where the internet barely reached and the bowels of depravity that I discovered through that <laughs> tiny device, like would make the Pope cry. It, it was <laughs> the, like, like I like the, the, like I remember like, like my parents ended up taking away so much of my stuff that I ended up having to like my gateway to the internet was the shitty web browser of a Nintendo DSI. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. Yeah. It's it's whatever, whatever par- like, what's it your called? Your parents were a lot worse. My parents were a lot more chill about a lot more things that your parents were not chill about. Tell, 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 so like, so, tell some of our viewers about what? how you how about how basically, uh, how, like access to Steve. We're, we're going to get there. Unfettered access get there. to Steve was how you kind of pissed on your parents. Right. No yeah, way yeah, to have yeah, game yeah, yeah. rule for years. All right. All right. So I'll start off by saying, I feel like, um, so my my first phone was it was a Pantech Pursuit, and it was a it was a little green slide phone with a capacitive. T- I remember it so very fondly, um, and I'm trying to remember. There's like a very certain kind of browser for like DSs and 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 like it's very, it's basically like no. Is it called JavaScript. like Opera? It's called Opera or something. What, Maybe, it? but all I know is, is what that, am I thinking of? All I know is is that it was super duper lightweight, zero. Mm-hmm. Like like zero JavaScript, so it was just basically text based. 
Like yep, maybe yeah, a lot of times different. you just go to a website and just a, you you would go to any any just website and just a so, big block of text would appear at the top. Bro, okay, can't can go I, there. But... Can I tell you a great story? So, uh, my this I felt like my like I didn't get a smartphone. My I didn't get an actual smartphone until like I went through the majority of my middle school years and and I think probably two like two or three of my high school years without an actual smartphone. Like I don't think I got a I got a smartphone until I was a junior in high school. I had one sure. like in like sixth and seventh grade, but that belonged to my father, and my father as a you know, that was no longer an option for him to pay for that. Sure. So for the longest time this the phone I had was a slide up texting phone. And my oh, and, yes. and, and that was my lowest point in the internet where I was having to read <laughs> fan fictions like on the most the dingiest tiny dingiest, little like tiny screen, screen all text <laughs> no formatting nothing yep. and it's like there was literally like where i to read one sentence of something i had to tap down three times on the pad it was oh. egregious wow sounds like the life it, yeah. <laughs> simpler times simpler times and yeah. I also and, and like it was also starting to become the point where like everybody had a phone, right? Yeah, because I, like, I, I know because I got the, my phone. Except with, for a... the people who are like 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 the most, like, except for like the people who are like at the lowest rung of our like like just like have got the worst break in life in terms of of birth in society. That was mm-hmm. what it was. But um, because because I, I got my first phone, I got that Pentec Pursuit. I think it was it was like the very tail end of grade and again i don't know if it, if it counted as a smartphone but it but it uh, basically was because it could you know do inter- internet and apps and like all the texting and whatnot and stuff like that and the thing that i i hated most about it and the thing that that i had to be the most careful about in terms of like watching stuff after i went to bed or whatever like just going on youtube random stuff watching anime whatever is that it, you know, it's volume rocker it only had had three volume settings it had three and the first one uh, the, hold, the on, moment, hold, hold on, the mo- hold on, hold on, Will. Uh, oh. your, let your internet catch up. You're skipping a little bit. But I do want to take this second, and sorry to our podcast listeners, listen after the fact. This was recorded live. Um, uh, th- I saw your, I saw, thank you for the follow, uh, the wild Gusta. I saw your hi, hi to you too. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we just, we're in the middle of a conversation. I didn't want to break everything too. We're too in the middle of t- passion talking about our very first cell phones. Oh god. So speaking of passions, how quick so when you opened the front page of Steam today, how quickly did you jizz your pan seeing the Mass Effect oh. remake on live? I'm going to get there. I'm not ta- I'm not <laughs> done talking about my my Pantech pursuit. <laughs> but I'm going to get there. Uh, if if you didn't bring it up, I was going to bring it up. I, there's no place for or, organic transitions there. I was going to be like, "Oh, by the way, we have to talk about Mass Effect today." So You're such again, a fucking the problem with boy. my my pers- all right, you're cut, uh, you're cutting out again, bro. What would you say? Uh, all right, uh, my Pantech Pursuit had four volume settings. It had mute, it had the lowest setting, which was loud as heck, and then it had the two above that. So I had I had to be very very careful. I had to like cup the cup the you know so like here's my phone. I had to like cup this side of the volume thing. I had to get like really really scrunched up and careful with it. And because and, and you know when you do that so often, you develop a real ear for if there's any kind of movement outside of your room. Yes, yes, a thousand percent. Like I, like I can tell. Like by the time I moved out of my parents' house, I could tell by the weight of the 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 of the, of the, of the but just by the sound of the people of the walking up the steps, who was coming up the steps to mm-hmm. my room. Yep, I it it. it, it. It's in a- we all we were we were all basically we were- daredevil when we were kids. Is that we could, we it was like shing shing shing. We like we like, we like closed our eyes and saw like the whole layout of our whole house. And it was like my mom is coming up the stairs like one, one meter a second or something. Yeah. All right, put, all right, put, all right let me get my pants back on. Kick the lotion behind the bed. Bury my phone somewhere where she can't see it and pretend I'm asleep. <laughs> Just like eat it. Home. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, because I'll tell yeah. you, man. It's like there was like like. I, I know your mom. I love your mom. Your mom is an absolute sweetheart, an angel. Mm-hmm. 
I, I, it would, I can just imagine like how much it would kill that poor woman if she walked in on you out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that, that that I've always lived with very kind of established boundaries where like they always knock and, yeah. and stuff like that. I'm yeah. super duper lucky in that. Way. Yeah, yeah. One, one thing I will say. So, uh, one thing I will. Ooh, I want you to tell a story. Tell me the story about how you're about um how you and your dad talked about the birds and the bees. Oh, it was so long ago. I I barely remember what I, it was about. So I remember. I, 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 I remember the oh, story. Oh, no, I do. I actually do. Nix that. I remember exactly where I was when when I got the talk. I know exactly where I was. <laughs> but, um. So I mean, like 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 the talk. I can't pinpoint it, but I can pinpoint exactly where I was when I learned how it how it works. Uh, I I, we, I wasn't at home. We were in the car. We were oh, at, no, we were no, at an oh, intersection. No. This wasn't the story I was talking about. I know the story. Here's the story. So th- I don't think you remember. I remember you told me this years ago, but I remember it so fucking vividly because it was so goddamn hilarious. Let me retell it to you. What? Your I'm talk, very curious. Your talk with your father consisted of him, walk, you sitting in the living room doing like just minding your business, him walking in. Putting a book down on the table that was a basically one of those so your your so bo- your body's going through changes type of book, and then he nodded and turned around and walked away. And you said, and I quote, "Good talk, Dad." And he gave you a thumbs up <laughs> as he was walking. <laughs> do you remember? Oh do, do you remember God. now? You just unlocked a whole memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Oh my god! I I I I I can't remember the name of the book, but like if I saw the cover, I would know it instantly. Oh and, my god! You know what the worst part about that is? I remember that so vividly. That was like at least four years ago. Oh, it, w- even more four years it ago. It took me two months to memorize my girlfriend's last name. <laughs> to, 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 uh, uh, as a man to another man, you've said too much. You've said too much already. I lo- you got to You got to got to cut your losses, man. She, she's 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 ar- she's already in this for the long run. She ain't going nowhere. Do you know? Do you know what her birthday nowhere. is? I do. It was. It's uh um already passed. All right. I trust. I trust. You know the date. <laughs> I do. I do. In fact, I I, not by heart. I, 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 sh- I shouldn't have put you on the spot. I, I shouldn't general, have put you on the spot. Like I know that. the general ballpark. It's it, I, I, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's in my calendar. Just with my mother's, my stepfather's, the only person who's other, who's the only two, the only three people who I know their birthday by heart is my sisters. October 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 fourth. Um, my childhood, uh, my good my good childhood friend Jaquan, uh, December sixth. Mm-hmm. And my the woman I consider my big sister, uh, Mariah Utley, and that was August twentieth. I think I don't know. I'm awful. I'm an awful. Oof. Person. It's thrown down with the birthday dates. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Nah. How many? I, I. I. I'm an. I'm an. I'm a bad son. Like I was. Li- I remember vividly getting a COVID test back in October, and. <laughs> And I was walking into this like minute clinic place, like just like all the just like all, it's completely run by women, all, like just somehow like all the people who were working there were female, and and like I'm make I'm, I'm jokester making them giggle and stuff, and I'm like they say so they basically are having me verify my stepfather's date, mm-hmm. like birth date, and. Here's the thing. I'm the worst son on the planet, and I kept saying that because I'm like, all right, I know, I know he's like, I know he's like four years younger than my mother, and I think my mother is like fifty, forty eight, I think, <laughs> and 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 I know, oh, wait, I know my mom was born in seventy two. I know my mom was born in seventy two. <laughs> This, so is, this is where the calculations back. begin. <laughs> where, where you're having the Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment where you're trying to like... Think, think, think. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Trying try to like, like re- reverse engineer all like the, the far in, few and far in between bits of piece of knowledge that you have just trying to find one thing. Oh, yeah. God. It's awful. That's atrocious. Oh, yeah. man. How's it? So... So, question. oh, oh, did you, do you want me to tell, tell a story of um my of like kind of the video game policy around my house? 
Oh yeah, go ahead. And not to, to jump back to that topic. Have had yeah. It, my so so uh, this is a, this is a very I, what I consider to be a pretty good story. So basically, um, as I was growing up, my parents paid pretty close to the ESRB ratings. They, you know. Uh, so just for everybody listening, because we'll cut out right there. He said. Um, Back when he was a kid, uh, his his parents paid very close attention to the ESRB ratings, and as we know now, the ESRB is just a bunch of ball washing bastards. Yeah, it's it's really it's a it's like what they like what they junk. You know, it's like it's like you know how like the movie industry just you know they have this sort of moral like like absolutism in terms of just like certain things that they find atrocious. Like, like if there's any types of homosexuality in a movie, they'll, they'll nix it. Like, even it, like, even if it's just a kiss, like they'll make it a rated R film, which like, yeah, say what you will about like, like I, I'm not here going to like, just for viewers and listeners, I may have my own beliefs when it comes to the, um, um, gay rights debate and all that you know like like but the point is is that if you're going to allow one thing you have to allow the other that's like free that's like the pinnacle of free speech in this country but i digress continue yeah. um so uh, basically uh that being said they, they made small kind of uh allowances where like i got a super smash brothers brawl even though it was t and i was like 11 or 12 and they uh because i played it at a summer camp and they looked it up online and it said you know good for an 11 year old or whatever and so i got that for the wii and stuff like that even though it's Um, considered to be one of the worst smash bros games that's beside the point it was it was the only one i had fair enough and uh basically you know i saw i did i I didn't buy any end games you know, officially for, for, you know, from when I was like 11 to, you know, 17. But the thing was, I did have my own computer and I had portal on it. I I had my own steam account and I had portal. And because portal has the basic half-life Two you know, source engine structure, it meant I could download as many half-life two mods, you know, as as many half-life two mods as I wanted from steam. And so I was playing, you know, M rated games, but by the time I had my own computer for pretty much from the very beginning, you know, which was great because they were all free, you know, as, as was Team Fortress 2. And it, it also was M uh, and it was great. And so and so while I missed out on a lot of like the big name console games from that time, from like my adolescent years up until, you know, I turned 18, you know, I'm catching up on them now. And I had access to all sorts of fun stuff on Steam uh, when I was a kid. But the most um so aside from it being very funny that, you know, th- unless they listen to this, they won't know that. Um, when I, I had a Lego Indiana Jones game for DS when I was, you know, probably somewhere around 10 or 11. And that was one of the, the games where you could customize your own character and give yourself weapons and things. And, you, and, and I would and play it in the car, play it everywhere. And you were saying some shit like you were playing a GTA game or something. Yeah, and I, I, I was like, oh, man, I just shot this guy with a rocket launcher or whatever. Boom, I just blew him up. And they were like, William, if you keep it's, saying it's, things, we're going to take it away. It and inevitably, game. I said it, and uh, they took it away. And you and, never saw you know, it again. That's the thing. I, I did never see it again. I think they, they probably lost it or threw it away or something. They said they kept it, but I'm, but I, I'm it's probably just got lost in the move, honestly, which I wouldn't be surprised about. And here's the thing. A as a, as, as a whole, cartridge. Yeah. As a hopeful future parent, I you know want nothing best. I will want nothing best for my child and or children, and I'll want them to to enjoy games if they enjoy games, and to kind of be educated about you know re- real world versus the fake world, you know. And so I could see where they were coming from with it. But as a kid, but I was pissed. The problem pissed. is, is that <laughs> they don't play games, so it's like I would say a game. Certain games should only be for adults. Certain games are mislabeled, mis you know. So for example, I would say Skyrim. Is a good enough is a good enough game to be played by a fourteen year old? I think at the age I of, agree. I think at the age of fourteen, like you, and all and games could also should also be a way to discuss and ha- and have deep meaningful conversations about the choices. Games like sure. Grand Theft Auto should realistically only be played by adults. You know, I like, think I'm with you on that. You know, you know I, now, I was 14 not, when, when, when you like, if, if, if a 13 year old wants to play it, sure. But like, it's always down to the parent to have like a talk about the, the, what they do in the game. You know, it's like, if I had, you know, it's like the Deus Ex games are another good example, you know, like gate story rich games like that are, are perfect for, um, kind of having moral discussions in a way that doesn't necessarily affect 
your child's life in in a way that's like tangible. It might you know it might mean right. something to them in the game, but as it does for all of us, but it's still important. I th- I, th- I think also two things. One, I think with GTA because it's because it's it's fiction, but it's it's you know it's based more in reality. Word? And at the same time, based more in reality as no well. Mistake, GTA is a fantastic sandbox, and GTA is always on the on the cusp in the front end of defending video games from regulation. You know, mm-hmm. every time a GTA game yeah. comes out, like they're on the forefront, you know. So, I may not agree with yeah. like I may like G- GTA may not be the game I enjoy to play, but some people do. And it's in its mm-hmm. art and and you know, if you know if a parents are mad about a game having certain things and doing all that, here's the thing. You bought it for your children. They need an adult to buy it. If you bought the game and your kid is 16 or younger and they have it in the you house, should know it's in it. it is, unless they stole it or bought or borrowed it from a friend, it is your fault. It is like, I am so tired of parents trying to like force like other people, like listen to, to like force other people to like change their lives because they're shitty parents. Like, if your kid is watching a movie that you don't want them watching, why are you letting them watch it? Why are you getting mad at the movie for having, you know, titties in it? It's like, it's like feeding your kids. You know, you, you know what's in, in food before you give it to them. Why would you? Why would video games be any different? Right. And, and if, I was going to say that it's, it's like, it's is, like a... If your kid is 300 pounds at age 13, like, that is not 100% their fault. You had some type of... Of of of, of in, in influence, yeah, right. It's like and and I was good. Genetics aside, you know, so it's just it really just comes down to like you can't, you know, it's but but yeah. But as we were saying, GTA, you know, something that I it, personally, it, G- yeah, because um, my my, my second point was going to be that um, you know, I I think uh, that um, as you're kind of saying about having having conversations about things, I I think. If you know, if a if a younger person wants to play, a play the, wants to play GTA. Sorry, and, I was sorry. I was just you it, cut out a little bit, and I was just trying to re say what you were saying so people wouldn't miss it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll fix that. I'll, I'll try to fix that problem one of these days, uh, <laughs> one of these sooner days. rather than later. I don't. It's honestly, it's probably Discord because I tested this mic in Audacity beforehand. Yeah. Uh, basically, I think if you want to sit down with your kids and say, "Look, that." that you know portray this and this and and are are not based in reality are based in reality and and they open if you want your kid to be able to play those games or they really want to play those games you have to stress to them what's real and what's not what kind of conversation this brings up you know because um i think i think the worst i think the worst thing you could do is treat a video game like a babysitter is treat a that it on the highest highest shelf and not expect your kid to climb up and grab it and fall off the shelf you know right it's fall off, off the shelf being you know, misconstrue things or learn learn from the video game learn things that maybe aren't true or that that are that the, that the game itself is portraying as 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 like as a take on that topic not as fact you know so it's important to kind of distinguish that to kids too it's kind of like it's kind of like you know like Games like there's certain games that don't have like any like really redeeming value, you know. And there's very actually now that I think about it, there's very few games. I think propaganda. Better like games, that. I think I think I think I think propaganda games fall under that. And mm. games like hatred, mm. like where it's just like there's no, you know, it's like violence. Shitless. Violence is okay in video games. Sadism is not. Hmm. I think that's a very good distinction to make. Because violence without purpose is sadism. Right. If it's part of a story, if it's commentary on something, if it's, you know, if, if it's made to be fun. You know, right. Now, if the but... game gives you the option to do that and you could do that, that is not a reflection on the game. That is a reflection on you because you have yep. the option to not do that. And there's benefits to not doing it, but you decided to do it anyway. So that is less not a reflection. Like, another topic before we you want to move on to another topic before uh we can conti- uh continue uh before we wrap because uh, i think we're getting close to the half hour mark bro 
Okay, yeah. How many more minutes we got? I, I won't, uh, I won't geek out for too long. I'd say I'd say we got about another ten, ten-ish. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, they have start a little finally late. released. The, yeah, that's it's it's. Yeah. So you're now it's your uh, baby Mass Effect. At, Mass Effect. Hold on. Next date announced today. So what'd you say? Say that again. You cut out real bad. Ma- the Mass Effect Legendary Edition has gotten an official release date as of today. Mm-hmm. It's on pre-order and on Steam. Is and we got like kind of a real trailer. Uh, I was hysterical. It's so great. It looks awesome. Uh, and it happened like five minutes before I had to show up for a Zoom class, and so I had to kind you, of you had to down bring, my excitement you had to bring for a little yourself bit. Back down a little I bit. really did. I, I, I was I was I was I was I was whooping and, and hollering. I was hooting and hollering, and and I was like, oh, I gotta go to class. And as soon as the class was over, I, I resumed my uh, my jubilation because it looks fantastic. Uh, I'm endlessly excited. And here's the best part for me is that everyone was, the rumors were going around that it was going to come out in March. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to be right in the middle of my last semester. I'm going to have to try to avoid, you know, all the social media buzz about it. It comes out. Wait, hold on. Can you say that all one more time? You cut out again. My apologies. No, my my apologies. Actually, uh, basically there were rumors were saying it was going to come out in March but the release date, as announced today, is May fourteenth, which is the same day as my, as the commencement for my uh, my graduating class in college. Oh, so, so oh, so you can immediately take off your bullshit hat and robe, throw it into the corner, sit down to your computer, and ha- and and start playing after it's done preloading. Yep, pretty much. That I I will have no more work to do. I'll be completely done. I can just dive right in and spend ninety hours and spend some of the greatest ninety hours. Just promise me you'll game. Just promise me you're gonna you, you'll remember to drink water, dude. Oh yeah, it's sometimes whatever it's details. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, well. Oh uh, yes. So I think let's. I think that I think we should. We could probably wrap it up a little bit tonight. I you know. Fair um, enough. Ladies Fair and enough. gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the Babble Box Podcast live show. I and listening to the Babble Box Podcast in general. I appreciate you so much. Um, the, this show is going to be live on our YouTube clips channel and which you can go to, you can check that out at uh, bit.ly slash H I M video two video. One is the uh, video, uh, without the number is the main channel <laughs> and, um, careful. <laughs> and, um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we will listen and listening and we will see you guys next week. If I could just get find the mouse, there it is. Okay. All right, we're done. Bye now. <laughs>